Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's game between the Unity Christian Knights and the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks. Both teams looking to get a massive victory here tonight. Unity Christian taking it home just their last game, and the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks losing a tough one. Both sides, boys and girls, to Galen Catholic last night. Opportunities for both sides here to get a win. Going to look at some of the past stats. Not talking about the girls' game right now, the men's game. 13-0, Hartley Melvin Sanborn is going to be 14-0. Unity Christian has never lost in the last 13 years to this team. Gonna get you the statistics on the girls. Regardless of the past two minutes for tip-off here between the Unity Christian Knights and Harley Melvin Sanborn Hawks. So right away, we're going to get into it with one quick commercial break. All the best sports shows, all the best games on 101.5 FM and 1570 AM for your college sports, University of South Dakota. For NHL coverage, Minnesota Wild. For NBA coverage, Minnesota Timberwolves. For MLB coverage, Chicago Cubs. And the best games in both college and the pros with the ESPN Radio featured games. Never miss out on the action. As a bank that cares about supporting small businesses, American State Bank assisted hundreds of young entrepreneurs launch their first business. Starting a business can be complicated, even when it's just a lemonade stand. It's never too early to begin thinking towards your next project, and we'll be here to help make it go as smoothly as possible. Supporting entrepreneurs, no matter their age, it's what we do. At the moment, unable to find any statistics here, so we'll get you into what the first few minutes of this live stream has to offer. First off, my name's Carter with Fuller Digital Solutions, and it is a pleasure to be able to be your color commentator for the night. To start off the first period, we're going to go with the starters here from the announcers, followed by the national anthem, and then we'll actually announce them ourselves if you missed them, and then we'll get right into this thing.
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a wonderful performance by the Unity Christian Knights Pep Band. Getting into it, we're going to go right back over the starters for both sides, if you didn't hear it before. For the Hawks, number one, the senior, Emily Matumbo. Number two, Gracie Knobloch, the sophomore, standing at five foot six. Number four, the senior, Elise Hawk. Number 14, the sophomore, Kylie Shipoff. And number 20, the sophomore, Abby Downa, standing at a whopping six feet tall. For your Unity Christian Knights, starting the senior, number two, Cassidy Deckers. The senior, number four, Caitlin Zevenbergen. Number 11, another senior, Gracie Sconehoven, followed by number 20, Tyra Scheutman, the senior, standing at six feet tall. And to cap it off, number 44, Courtney Hoffmeyer, the sophomore. Tip off underway, and the Knights are going to have a quick and easy bucket. Nice dish by Sconehoven is going to start the game off right for the Knights. That's two points, Cassidy Deckers. Matumbo going to dribble to the right. She'll pick up her dribble in a tough spot. Going to dish it down to Hawk. Hawk going to try and go for a nice move. Unable to do so. They're going to dish it down to court. Gracie Sconehoven. Two quick buckets back to back. This game is off to a hot start for the Knights. Matumbo to dribble it down the court again. Good cut. A little bit long, but the Hawks are going to get the ball again. Ship off, ship off, going for a bucket, no good. They're going to try and tie up for it. No jump ball called, so now the Knights are going to dribble down the court. Deckers to Sconehoven. Sconehoven's going to dish it down, find her girl. That's Hoffmeyer with a bucket. You can see they're distributing the ball well already. Three people with a bucket within the first minute. Matumbo at the top of the key. She'll dish it to Dalma. Dalma down low for Hawk. Hawk looks like she's going to get tipped. She's going to miss the bucket. Unity. Deckers for a layup. No good, but there's going to be a foul called. Hawk with her first of the night. It's not a good look here right away for the Hawks. See if they can turn things around just a little bit. Deckers, the first free throw. And she'll sink it. Second one will also find the bottom of the net. So that's four points already for Deckers here. Now block, trying to pass it out to the wing. Unable to do so, Sconehoven with the steal. Sconehoven with the bucket. Now block and dribble it to the left. Now block unable to do so. Sconehoven with a layup. And right away, the Hawks in a little bit of trouble. Down 12-0 within the first two minutes of the first period here. You need Christian Knights putting on a lot of pressure. And automatically, we see lots of turnovers happening for the Hawks. And you see the hustle. Unfortunately, not able to get back on defense, and this might prove to be something that's going to hurt them down the stretch, even if they are able to come back to what they are as a basketball team. Coming out 12-0, and 0, it's kind of a crutch. Let's see if they can walk their way back. Matumbo down the court after a little pep talk and timeout. Matumbo is going to be out on Deckers. Matumbo to pass it in. Hawks going to run an inbound play. Ship off coming up to try and receive. Matumbo is going to try and get it to ship off, and Deckers is going to let it go out of bounds after drinking the steal. Unable to hold on to it. And now Matumbo once again to pass in the ball. Matumbo looking for an easier in this time. Ship off, no good. Matumbo going to pass it right to Sconehoven. Who's going to dish it to Deckers? Matumbo with a nice block to get in the way of that pass. Matumbo easily saving a bucket there. Ship 
Scove Holman on the inbound pass. She'll dish out to Schreitman. Schreitman. She's going to find her girl down low. No good. Zevenbergen. Zevenbergen. Rebounded by Schreitman. Schreitman. Going up strong. She'll get the foul. First foul here for Shipoff. And the first free throw is good for Schreitman. And the second one is also good. Dribble it down the court. Frank, Frankie Money, the sophomore. Now blocking and dish it up to the top of the key. Ship off. Have a couple dribbles here. Matumbo going to set a pick. Matumbo. Going to make a nice move. Quick move. Matumbo trying to go up. She'll get followed on the way up. Deckers, the culprit there. First opportunity for the Hawks to score here. Matumbo will get two. Excuse me, they're going to call it travel. Never mind. And another turnover here. Now this one on the Knights. Now block trying to get the pass. No good. From three, no good. Schoenhoven battling out with Knobloch. They're going to tie it up, jump ball. Good aggressive play there by Knobloch to get in there and get onto the ball. Schoenhoven, who's had an absolutely dominant game already. You know, a little bit of test of her might there. Matumbo. Knobloch's going to take it up the court. This is out on the wing to Dalma. Dalma going to find Matumbo. Down low, ship off with a nice cut. And she'll go up for a good basket. That's going to be an and one. Foul is going to be on number four, Caitlin Zevenbergen, her first of the night. And Unity's first foul overall. The free throw is no good. Down the court, Cassie Decker's pick, cherry picking like crazy. Matumbo, pass it in. Now block and dish it up to the top. Dalma, Dalma not able to handle it. Now rushing down the court, number 20. Tyler Schreitman, Schreitman, gonna score. Now blocked, Matumbo. To Schreitman, Schreitman looks like she's gonna pull up from three. Schreitman driving to the lane. She's gonna draw another foul. So two really nice plays back to back. Excuse me for ship off. Getting my numbers mixed up here. Both teams carrying a number 14. A couple of substitutions here for the Knights. Both free throws good there for Shipoff. Layup, no good for the Knights. It's going to be a foul on Knobloch. In the shoot free throws, Hoffmeyer missing her first one. Second one also no good, but the rebound on the Knights is going to end up in a jump ball. As Scheutman and Chipoff battle it out. Be Unity's ball here after the jump. For the top of the key, number 23. It's Woodstra. 
Wichstra. Back to Scheutman. Scheutman down to Deckers. Deckers in a little bit of trouble here. Schoenhoven. Scheutman. Scheutman's going to take a dribble. She's going to make a Euro step. And the Hawks are going to recover. Good rebound by Shiphop. Now Block picking up her dribble. She's going to toss it just a little too high, and that'll be a turnover on the Hawks. Just over four minutes here in the first period played, and the score 18 to four, Knights handling the Hawks. Decker's gonna dribble it down. She's gonna speed up a little bit. Matumbo playing some good defense. Schoitman from three, no good. That'll be long. Shipoff with another rebound. She's been pretty dominant on the glass tonight. Three-pointer, no good. A little long, not blocking a recover. That's no good, about 10 feet. Schoenhoven gonna dribble down the court. She's going to pass it off to Deckers after having a little bit of trouble handling it, and she's going to score. Deckers with eight on the night already. 14 of the 20 points coming from the dynamic duo of Cassidy Deckers and Gracie Schoenhoven. Ship off with a nice fake. She's going to get fouled by Schreutman. Schreutman in a little bit of disbelief. And Shipoff is the person you're looking to here on offense. She's already got all five of the points here for the Hawks. Substitutions on both sides coming into the game for the Hawks. At least Hawk. For the Knights. Looks like Papma and Dittman, both juniors. Papma at the top of the key. Schoenhoven, Schoenhoven from three, no good. That'll hit the top of the rim, so that'll be out of bounds. It'll be Hawks ball, 6-20 here. What's on Boulder dribble down the court? Ship off. Another good play here, getting her own rebound. And she'll draw another foul. That is the third one tonight that she's drawn. That one will be on Jaden Hoffmeyer. <laughs> Ship off will miss her first free throw. She'll make her second. Now with seven points on the game, has all of the Hawks points. Good rotation all around. It's going home into the middle, find a girl down low, no good. Hoffmeyer looking to make a bucket, unable to do so. Hawks will retain possession. Chip off from three. They're going to call it two. The chip off with two more points to her repertoire here. Nine points on the night and nine points for the Hawks. Schoenhoven going up to the rack. Good. She'll get the end one. Down will be called on the foul. Free throw is good. Stonehold and already with nine on the night. Good pass to Hawk. Hawk going to get her own rebound after a nice wild bounce. Take a couple dribbles out. Moni. Moni going to find Van Ness at the top of the key. You're going to get the ship off. Ship off. Going to put one up. No good. Just a little bit to the left. Two girls get tied up. Looks like. Popma and Hawk both fighting to get the ball there. A couple substitutions, Deckers coming in, as well as Caitlin Zevenbergen. Hawk to inbound. A 
bit of trouble finding anybody. Deckers cannot reach the ball. Dalma, take a dribble, get down to the elbow. Dalma back up at the top of the key. Good pass to Shipoff. Shipoff's going to go for a layup. No good. Looks like there might have been a little bit of contact, but the refs aren't going to call that one. Deckers down low. Schoenhoven with a nice cross court pass, and Deckers will score. Good layup there by number 15, Lindsey Van Ness. Her first of the night, the freshman getting in there for a nice bucket. Schoenhoven dribbling around. Deckers will find herself at the three point line. Hoffmeyer, Hoffmeyer to Schoenhoven. Schoenhoven good. Couple of dribbles by Van Ness to the middle of the court. She's going to pick up her dribble. She's going to give it to Shipoff. Shipoff. A little step out there. She's not going to maintain possession. She's going to throw it out, but that's going to be off of the Unity Christian defender, Hoffmeyer. Thirteen seconds left to play here in the first period. Five seconds and counting here. Be off on the Knights, it'll be Hawks ball. Knights are gonna get the inbound regardless. Decker's gonna go down the court, unable to put it up before the buzzer and that'll be the end of the first period. Knights take the lead after one, 27 over the Hawks, 11. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break on Fuller Digital. You can't replace the peace of mind that comes with knowing your animal is in good hands. Central Veterinary Clinic has been serving Sioux Center and the surrounding area for over 60 years. With a staff of 11 veterinarians, you can be sure you're getting the right care when you need it. Whether it's your companion animal or a production animal operation, Central Veterinary is committed to staying up to date on the most current medical advances and knowledge to provide your animal with the best care. See what the professionals at Central Veterinary have to offer you at centralveterinaryclinic.com. Back at the start of the second period here, Decker is going to take in the inbound. Schoenhoven is going to come down with it. She'll be good for another bucket here to start the second period. Bucket no good. Rebound on the Knights is going to go out of bounds. The Hawks will get a chance to get a bucket here. Knights are going to get out of that one. Schoenholven is going to pass it all the way down the court. Skydeman for a two. That's good. Fixing the pronunciation. Skydeman. Knobloch going to dribble to the corner. She's going to try and throw it out. It's just not going to work. Matumbo on defense against Schoenhoven. Schoenhoven going to get stopped at the bottom. Skideman going to go up for two. Skip off the defense. She's going to get called for the foul.
And the end one is good. Now Luck to dribble down the court. She's going to dribble left, behind the back to the right. Deckers with good defense. Now Luck's going to have to pass it out. Skip off, skip off. They try and dish it to the right. Skydeman going in for the layup. And that'll be good. Now Luck will be picked off by Deckers. Deckers is going to go up for the layup. Quick 11 points to start the second period here. Tumble going to dribble. There's going to be a body check on Deckers. Deckers in disbelief. Be the first one on her on the night. Inbound to skip off. Skip off. Going to get a screen from Matumbo. Matumbo. Going to have to get the pass here from skip off. 12 footer. No good. But there's going to be a foul. Yeah, number four, Zevenbergen. Van S going to the line for two. First free throw is good by Van S. Van S on her second here. No good. Skydam in the corner. Three, no good from Woodstra. Now the Hawks in the bonus. Van Ness back to the free throw line. She'll make her first one, so she'll get one more. Second one's no good. Schoenhoven on the rebound. Quick pass, Schoenhoven. Didn't look like she was looking for it, but she got it. Hoffmeyer with a nice drive to the bucket. That'll be first her, her first two of the night. Matumbo to skip off, skip off. Gonna drive down the lane, make a nice move. She's gonna put it up, no good. Rebound by Skydeman. Pop him on a dribble down the court. Skydeman. And find Hoffmeyer down low, unable to do so, and it'll be the Hawks ball. A couple of substitutions coming on here for the Hawks. The likes of Dalma and Skydeman coming out of the game. Three-point shot is good by Moni. She almost intercepts a pass, too. Schoenhoven going up. No good, but she'll get two shots. Schoenhoven's first free throw is good. Fouls on number 12, the sophomore, Eliza Chose. Schoenhoven's second free throw good. That puts her at 15, 15 points on the night. Van 
Harris to take a couple of dribbles, pass it out. Hawk, Hawk gonna find Van Ness in the corner. Van Ness unable to hang on to it. Christian just passing the ball at the top of the key. Skip one now, continue to make this defense work very hard. Hoffmeyer going to take a couple dribbles. She's going to penetrate in the lane, and she'll travel. Nice defense by Elise Hawk. Off's going to take a couple dribbles. That'll be no good. Hoffmeyer going to put up a bucket. Nice one at that. Be her second of the night. Unity Christian Knights with an absolute swat. Hawk from three, no good. Decker's going to find Skonhoven in the middle. Good dish down low to Hoffmeyer, but that's going to be read well by Dalma. Skip off is going to take it and dribble down the court. That'll be out of bounds on the Hawks. Unity Christian Ball. Hoffmeyer down low, really good move by Skonhoven, and Hoffmeyer will have her third bucket of the night. Brings her up to six. Dalma's gonna get it down low. Nice move, Dalma's gonna go up with it, and she'll be fouled, she'll get two shots. Dalma's first opportunity to score here tonight. Second foul by Popma. Dalma's first free throw is good. So that's her first point of the night as well. Two for two on the free throws there. Travel at the top of the key, Woodstra. Dama going to go up with it strong. Skonhoven's going to be called on the foul. First one is good. She is three for three on her free throw so far. Second one also falls. She's 100% when shooting from the free throw line. Four, four points, four for four on the free throws. Knights are going to take it to the top. Knobloch is going to pick that one off. Good vision there to steal that. She looks energized. Three-pointer from Knobloch. Good. With the hand in her face. 
Little boost of energy here coming from the Hawks. They must be a second half of the period team. As we've seen in the last four minutes, they've outscored the Knights 11 to eight. Schoenhoven gonna fake a three, jab step. Schoenhoven up for a good layup. Skip off the top of the key. Couple dribbles both ways. Gonna have to find a pass. That's gonna be the knob block, but that's gonna be intercepted by Schoenhoven. Matumbo on the defense. Not enough, but Schoenhoven will put it up for another quick and easy bucket. That puts her at 19 points on the night. Knob block gonna take a couple dribbles. Schoenhoven on the defense. Knob block gonna have to pick up her dribble. Pass out to Dama. She's gonna get it to Toes. Toes cannot hang on to it. Going home and gonna dish it out to the left. Zalstra unable to hang on to it. Substitutions coming in for the Hawks. Van Ness and the Hawk. Knobloch picked up her dribble, was gonna pass. She stuck at the top of the key. And she'll finally get it off to Van Ness, who's gonna be picked off by Deckers. Deckers has got the speed to go down the court, and she's gonna get a nice layup there. It's going home and falling close behind. Jump ball. The Hawks will retain possession. Skip off at the top of the key. That'll be tipped off by a Unity Knight defender. Four seconds left on the clock. Knobloch's gonna run down the court. She's gonna fire one from half court. And that'll be no good. Just a little bit left. Looked like it had the power, but that will be the end of the second period. Your score after two. Unity Christian Knights, 52. Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks, 23. We're going to get into some quick commercials, come back with some live stats and some live commentary on what each team should do to be successful in the second half of this ballgame. We'll be right back on Fuller Digital Solutions. World customers deserve great internet too. You deserve Evertech's No Limits Internet and the quality local services that comes with it. We've dedicated 32 years to bring customers like you reliable and unlimited internet, up to 50 megabits across 22 counties. It's internet you can count on. Call or email our Everly office to get started. You and your family need internet with unlimited use, no contracts, and no overages. You need Evertech. Visit evertech.net to learn more. Evertech, internet where you live. Notaboom Electric and Refrigeration has always operated under strong values aimed at exceeding client needs. The relationship with their clients begins on the first day of contact and only ends once you are fully satisfied with the work. 
When you hire Notavoom Electric, you can count on them for the results you want and need. They offer a number of services, for residential and commercial facilities to schools and churches. Discover the advantage of working with Notaboom Electric and refrigeration in Orange City today. Wishing good luck to the Knights. When each new day begins, we are here. When you want new technology that's tested and proven, we're here. When you need a sounding board or just a good story, we're here. For an ally whose local roots run as deep as yours, or to make next year the best year yet, we'll be where we've been all along. With you from the word go. Pizza Ranch serves buffet your way. Don't you mean my way, Mr. Voiceover Guy? Uh, sure, anyone's way, actually. Request your favorite pizza. We'll make it, bake it, and give you the first slice. I can add peppers to pepperoni, stampede on stuffed crust, maybe Texan taco on thin. No tomatoes on my half. How can I convince Mom to let us eat here every night? It's buffet your way at Pizza Ranch. Say it with me, kid. Mmm. -mm. Mm -mm. Probably the biggest thing that we do a little bit different than a lot of schools is the live work side of the world. So when we teach our students, we actually, if you look around the shop and see what they're working on, in most cases it's a customer car, and so they get real world application. Our engineering design program is basically drawing components, manufacturing of the components, and then we get into the inspection of the components. So they got to create it, make it, and inspect it just as they would in industry. Unity Christian is proud to have these businesses as partners, helping to ensure the success of our students now and into the future. Unity Christian is proud to have these businesses as partners, helping to ensure the success of our students now and into the future. Welcome back to your matchup here between the Unity Christian Knights and the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks. Girls game going on right now. Four minutes left in halftime, and we'll get underway here with the third period. To start, let's go over some statistics, and then we'll get into what each team needs to do in order to be successful in the second half. To start off, we're going to go with the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks going down the list. A couple of points from each of these players. Gracie Knobloch, three points. She hit a nice three with a hand in her face. Really contested, brought a little bit of energy back at the second, at the end of the second period. A couple of, uh, one foul from her, as well as one foul from Elise Hawk. Doesn't have any points on the board quite yet. 
And then Toes, one fall as well, the sophomore. And then Kylie Skipoff. She's got nine to her name. She's the leading scorer by far, and she's hit all but two of her free throws, so she's four for six with a couple of fouls to her name, as well as two layups. Lindsay Van Ness, she's two for four on free throw line as well with a bucket to her name, so she's got four points. And Abby Dalma, four for four on the night from the free throw line, getting into a lot of good positions by getting a rebound on the offensive side. Unity Christian was in a lot of trouble there at the end of the second period in terms of fouls. And so we saw a lot of free throws being shot by the Hawks. Going into the Unity Christian Knights statistics, Cassidy Deckers, 14 points. She's got six layups as well as she's two for two from the free throw line. She's got one foul to her name. Kaitlin Zevenbergen also has one foul to her name. No points yet. Jaden Hoffmeyer, the sophomore, six points, three buckets to her name. No free throws. Or actually, excuse me, two free throws, both missed. Gracie Sconehoven, absolutely the person to talk about right now, has been electric both on the offensive and defensive side, seen quite a few steals as well as quite a few assists, and obviously the stats, 19 points to her name. She's got eight buckets as well as three free throws. She has made every single one of her free throws, so she's three for three with eight for eight in terms of buckets. Tyra Skytman, Skytman, She's got 11 points to her name as well. One, two fouls to fall. Gracie's going home, mind you, she has one. And then we're gonna go all the way down the list, number 44, Courtney Hoffmeyer. She's got a bucket to her name. I'll pop them up with two fouls. And that's the statistics from both sides. Now we gotta get into some of the actual nitty gritty. Both sides playing a decent half in their own regards. Unity Christian, just has been absolutely dominant. I would imagine that within the first two minutes of the first and second period, they've outscored their opponent at least 25 to zero. It's been an absolutely dominant start. Looks like they just get out of the gate hot and they gotta keep doing that. I mean, obviously 52 points is working for you on pace for 104. May not hit it, but at this rate, who knows? Um, and then for the Hawks, you know, you gotta one, make sure that you're stopping what the Unity Christian Knights have to offer within the first two minutes. It seems like they slow down a little bit after they get confident. Um, and that's when the Hawks come back and they show a little bit of their stuff. I think when we were watching uh, with about two minutes left in the second period, the Knights were actually getting outscored um, in the previous four minutes, 11 to eight. Um, and then the Knights did come back and get a little run going. However, I think it ended up pretty even at the end of two, um, at the end of the second period. So that was pretty, pretty good. And obviously the Hawks, if they're really dominant in the last two minutes of the period, just continue to be that. You know, we've seen a lot of buckets here. Now blocked with that big three we were talking about. Had a hand in her face um, right after a steal off of Gracie Schoenhoven, who has been pretty unstoppable tonight. Um, and so you want to see a little bit more from your leaders there. Of course, you have a young team. Um, so not a lot of these players are going to be able to show their stuff right away. A couple of seniors, a uh, freshman, and two sophomores to start. Excuse me, th three sophomores to start, as well as two seniors. Uh, and so it's a lot of competition out there. Those seniors trying to lead out. Uh, Matumbo and Hawk both don't have any points yet, but they played lots of good defense. You see the hustle here from both of them. Um, yeah, so that's the things that both teams need to be successful in the second half as the Hawks are gonna get out on the court early. Third period about to be underway as the Hawks, the Knights will get the ball. Start the third. Zevenbergen to pass it in. Deckers to Skydeman. Bergen back out to Skydeman. Skydeman from three. She's good. That's the first one from the arc for the Knights. Deckers is going to head it out of bounds. Tumbo going to pass it in. Hawk going to take it up. She'll dip it off to Dalma. Dalma finds Skipoff down low. Skipoff's going to miss it. Skipoff's going to get the rebound. She's going to put it back up. She'll miss it again. Matumbo trying to get out there. That's going to be a jump ball. Looks like Unity Christian doesn't think so. It should be around the, around the back, over the back. 
And jump ball is going to give the Hawks possession. Skip off. Looks like she's going to go through a little contact there. But unfortunately for the Hawks, they'll maintain possession. Hawk at the top of the key. Delma going to find Knobloch. She's going to dip it all the way over to Skipoff. Skipoff going to find Hawk on the post. Hawk with the attempt. No good. Matumbo with the good defense here. Going to slow down Deckers just enough. Skydeman from three. She's going to be off by just a little bit. Skonhoven the re rebound, and she will go to the free throw line. Give me the third ball on Knobloch. Show the sub come in. Number 23, Frankie Money. Skonhoven with her first free throw miss of the night. Rebound by Skip Up. Lockdown defense here from the Knights. Skip Off going to fake a three. They get it up to the top of the key. She'll be taken out, and it looks like Matumbo and Skonhoven are going to battle it out. It's going to be Knight's ball. Good play by Skonhoven to just get it off of Matumbo's feet. Decker's going to take it down. Skydeman back to Deckers. Skydeman up top. Zevenbergen, three-pointer, no good. Skonhoven from the elbow. That's good. Three-pointer from Skipoff. Quick answer here. Zevenbergen. At the top of the key, Zevenbergen. Knights can't hold on to it, but Deckers is going to end up with it anyway. Skydeman, Skydeman going to put it up. No good. Hawk is going to get the rebound. Looks like it might have been blocked by Skipoff. Hawk to Dalma. To Matumbo. Skipoff is going to be defended by Zevenbergen. That's going to be a good defensive stand from the Knights. Skydeman getting the pass from Skonhoven. She can't convert, but that'll be rebounded, and that's two points. Cassie Deckers. First buck of the night for Hawk. That's a good cut right there to find herself in the bottom of the key. Good ball rotation. Deckers from three. Deckers a little bit short. It's going to bounce over, and that'll be rebounded by Hoffmeyer and put right back up for another Knights bucket. Skip off at the three point line. Looks like there's a little bit of contact there. Skydeman on defense. Skydeman playing lockdown defense. Skydeman doesn't think that it's supposed to go that way. Got him in from threes. Good. Excuse me, skip off from three. Continuing to confuse those two for no reason. From the arc. Good. Woodshaw. It'll be a full timeout here from the Hawks after a nice three point shot from Woodstraw. We'll be right back after a quick commercial. You can't replace the peace of mind that comes with knowing your animal is in good hands. Central Veterinary Clinic has been serving Sioux Center and the surrounding area for over 60 years. 
With a staff of 11 veterinarians, you can be sure you're getting the right care when you need it. Whether it's your companion animal or a production animal operation, Central Veterinary is committed to staying up to date on the most current medical advances and knowledge to provide your animal with the best care. See what the professionals at Central Veterinary have to offer you at centralveterinaryclinic.com. Rural customers deserve great internet too. This is Doug from Evertech. You deserve Evertech's No Limits Internet and the personal service that comes with it. We've dedicated 32 years to bringing customers like you reliable, unlimited internet. It's internet you can count on. Call or email our Everly office to get started. You and your family need internet with unlimited use, no contracts, and no overages. You need Evertech. Visit evertech.net to learn more. Evertech, internet where you live. Welcome back here to the live coverage of the Knights and the Hawks. Mutombo going to dribble it down the court. Good defense by the Knights, but Mutombo is going to be aggressive and go for it. On the floor, there will be a foul called on the Knights. Second one for Woodstra. Dalma's going to get the inbound pass. Skip off. One dribble. She'll pick it back up. Dalma trying to go up for a layup. That'll be out on the Knights. Skip off. Going to put one quick up. That's good. Skip off with 17 tonight. Woodstra with her second three of the night. Two for two here in this third period. We call Hawks ball. Substitution coming in. Van S. Matumbo going to the bench. Van S is going to find Skip Off. Skip Off going to take a couple dribbles to her right. Looks like she's going to go for a layup. Unable to do so. Dalma going to try and turn to the bucket. No good. Schoenholm for the cherry pick. Layup is good. Hawks having a little bit of trouble maintaining it here at the top of the key. A couple of dribbles each and every time is going to result in some turnovers here. And fortunately for them, that's not the case this time. Substitution coming in. This is the first time we've seen Zoe Dittman tonight. The 5'10 junior. Skip off. He's going to dribble up. She's going to take her dribble. Looks like there's a little contact there. Skip off. Can't pass it. Schoenhoven for a layup. That's good. Jump ball called. Looks like we've got into running time here. A travel on Hoffmeyer. Five seconds left to play here in the third period. Half court shot. No good. Just a little bit short. And at the end of three, the Knights have expanded their lead 72 over the Hawks 33. This is Fuller Digital Solutions, and we'll be right back after a quick commercial break here of your live. As a bank that cares about supporting small businesses, American State Bank assisted hundreds of young entrepreneurs launch their first business. Starting a business can be complicated, 
even when it's just a lemonade stand. It's never too early to begin thinking towards your next project, and we'll be here to help make it go as smoothly as possible. Supporting entrepreneurs, no matter their age, it's what we do. You can't replace the peace of mind that comes with knowing your animal is in good hands. Central Veterinary Clinic has been serving Sioux Center and the surrounding area for over 60 years. With a staff of 11 veterinarians, you can be sure you're getting the right care when you need it. Whether it's your companion animal or a production animal operation, Central Veterinary is committed to staying up to date on the most current medical advances and knowledge to provide your animal with the best care. See what the professionals at Central Veterinary have to offer you at centralveterinaryclinic.com. Welcome back. Joining just a few seconds late here. As the final period is underway here. Police Hawk and two, no good. Skydeman going to dribble down the court. Back to Deckers, to Skydeman. Passably tipped out, Woodstra. Skydeman on the inbound. Out to Zevenbergen. Zevenbergen going to take a couple dribbles to her left. Skydeman. Cutting behind her, and that pass is tipped again. The Hawks will this time get possession back. Skip off to Matumbo. No good for Matumbo. Gonna fight again. They're gonna call a travel. A few too many steps. The Knights ball. Deckers from 12 feet, no good. Knobloch coming down with the rebound. Knights defense still pressing pretty hard here. Hawk, Hawk to Matumbo, Matumbo with a nice fake. Matumbo, basket will not fall. Down low, Skydeman is going to find a nice alley, and that'll be good for two. Hawk with a nice bucket there. Decker's going to dribble to the middle of the lane. Good rebound by Knobloch. Skydeman's going to poke her hand in there. Skip off, top of the key to Dalma. Dalma going to look down low to Hawk. Hawk is going to get followed on her way up. That'll be two shots from the line. Woodstra looks like she was the recipient of the foul. Two shots here for Hawk. First one off the front of the rim. Second free throw is good. Couple of good passes, and Hoffmeyer's gonna find herself on the block, unable to put it in though. Hawk from two deep, no good. They'll be off the front of the rim again. Dittman getting the rebound. She'll have a couple of dribbles here. She'll zip one to Hoffmeyer. Hoffmeyer gonna find a girl on the outside. Top of the key, Woodstra, three for three. In the second half here, Woodstra with a nice three ball. She's got all nine points from the arc. Dalma. 
going to hang on to it for a minute. Van S. Van S. going to take a couple dribbles. Nabok will find it in her possession. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Nabok's going to try and pass it. No good. Hoffmeyer going to go up for a layup. That is no good. Looked like there was a little contact. That's all right. Play on. Skip off with the deep pass. It's going to be tipped by Dittman. And they're going to say that's out on the Hawks. Substitution for both sides here. Hawks with a nice defensive stand. Van Ness is going to take a couple dribbles. She's going to try and put one up. That's no good. A little bit long. Hawk on defense. Dittman will go to the free throw line. Skip off is going to have her third foul of the night. And Dittman with her first points. Dittman went two for two. Hawk at the arc. She's going to put one up. No good. Hoffmeyer, you're going to break the press here with the Knights. A couple of dribbles by Rudy, Ruby Zylstra. Hoffmeyer, Hoffmeyer going to find her wing out low. Ella Papma, three-pointer no good. Frankie Moni to Hawk. Hawk going to find Skype. Skip off. Down low, nice move by Skip off. I'll put her at 19 points on the night. Dipman at the bottom. Just on the block. Good ball movement for the Knights. Rebound will be on skip off. And it'll be a foul on Dipman. Neither of the two teams getting into any foul trouble here as we have a late substitution. Addie Schuler coming in for skip off. Hawk going to find a nice open bucket. She's just going to miss it by a little bit there. Trickles out. She'll have another chance here, though. No good. A little short. Freshman who just came in. No good. And that rebound. Nice one by Pabma. Unfortunately, she did travel, so it will be Hawks ball. A minute, 25 seconds left and counting here. Sheeler at the top of the key. Going to take a couple dribbles now. Van Ness. Nice lane. Trickle in, trickle out. Dittman is going to take it down the court. Sheeler with great defense is going to block at the bottom of the key. It'll be a jump ball. Dig it and Dittman. Scrambling down there. It'll be Knight's ball. Dittman. She's going to try and put one in. It'll be in and out. She's going to pass that one out just by a bit. And that'll be good. First points of the night for Ruby Zylstra. Call a foul. Two shots here for Van Ness. 
First foul here for Hoffman, the junior. Second free throw will fall for Van Ness. And so now, Knights will have the ball. He could just run the clock out here. A little bit of miscommunication. And as time expires, Van Ness will get a bucket. Your final score here for the women's side of tonight, 81 to the Unity Christian Knights, 41 to the Hawks. Going to gather up some statistics here, and we'll move on to the next game, which is the men's. Unity Christian Knights versus Hartley Melbourne Sanborn Hawks. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break on. Rural customers deserve great internet too. You deserve Evertex No Limits Internet and the quality local services that comes with it. We've dedicated 32 years to bring customers like you reliable and unlimited internet, up to 50 megabits across 22 counties. It's internet you can count on. Call or email our Everly office to get started. You and your family need internet with unlimited use, no contracts, and no overages. You need Evertech. Visit evertech.net to learn more. Evertech, internet where you live. run as deep as yours or to make next year the best year yet we'll be where we've been all along with you from the word go and here come the knights Trotting out for Hartley Melvin Sanborn, your Hawks. Been a very heated matchup over the years. Some years have been closer than others. However, in the last 13 years, Unity Christian has won every single matchup, whether it be by one or 50. It has been a very good matchup. Last year, not by much did the Knights win. Now the Hawks have a chance to put it away here with seniors Cooper Evil and Lance Behrens. At the helm, both sides looking to have a really competitive matchup tonight. Got to watch a little bit of the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks versus the Galen Catholic Jays. Unfortunately, suffered a great defeat last night. I think it was about 70 to about 40, in which both Cooper Ebel and Lance Behrens had a majority of the points. You also will see a little bit of Landon Elwood. He's been pretty good in the assist column. Didn't have a whole ton of points to his name. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Travis Camrat seeing a lot of time, as well as Trenton Volink. Both of them will be essential parts on defense. And then Keevan Jacobsma was pretty good in the post and had a one three-pointer, I believe. I didn't see a lot of anybody else. Lance Barron's obviously 
Big body, big frame. He's going to be down low in the post, absolutely dominating the boards. Um, that's his game. And the Hawks, really, you have to make sure you're staying down low if you're from Hartley, Melvin, Sanborn, because that's where the game is at for them. You need Christian Knights, not too long ago, was able to do one of those games and you know, saw a lot of really good play overall. They're obviously a dominant team, um, followed up by Jacob Van Dong. He's going to be a big leader tonight. Alongside Trevor Waringa, you know, both really dominant in the game of football, now dominant in the game of basketball. Both sides very heavy in terms of upperclassmen. Most of the team coming to be seniors. There's only one freshman and one junior playing on the Hawks roster tonight. Community Christian a little bit younger, a couple of sophomores, a couple of juniors. Don't see any freshmen on the board, but it's going to be a good matchup overall. Eleven minutes before the start of the first period on Fuller Digital Solutions. If you haven't tuned into the first game, my name is Carter, and it's a pleasure to be your color commentator tonight. It's going to be a wild matchup here between the Hawks and the Unity Christian Knights. If you missed it earlier and just tuning in, Knights have won the last 13 matchups against the Hawks. It's been pretty close in some times and pretty far in others. You know, the range could be from 1 to 50, um, but either way, the Hawks looking to put on a performance here tonight and uh, take the victory. And with that, We'll be right back after a quick commercial break on Fuller Digital Solutions. Only Pizza Ranch serves buffet your way. Don't you mean my way, Mr. Voiceover Guy? Uh, sure, anyone's way, actually. Request your favorite pizza. We'll make it, bake it, and give you the first slice. I can add peppers to pepperoni, stampede on stuffed crust, maybe Texan taco on thin. No tomatoes on my half. How can I convince mom to let us eat here every night? It's buffet your way at Pizza Ranch. Say it with me, kid. Mm -mm. I chose the NCC CNA course because I just really liked the instructors and the entire NCC community, how welcoming everybody is. And I was able to take it in high school and get it done before I started college. The new facility here at NCC has been great. You've got every tool you can think of. You're never struggling to find something. Just the facility as a whole has been awesome. It makes the learning a lot more interesting and a lot more hands-on and it's just been great. I like living in the dorms at NCC because it's a short walk to class. We do get free perks on campus. We get free laundry. We get free cable, free internet, free utilities. I do feel like I'm getting a college experience at NCC. At NCC, we have EMT classes that cover many things, trauma emergency, medical emergencies, all the way to delivering a baby. There's just many more opportunities for EMS that allow you to grow not only as a person, but in your career as well. I chose NCC because they have a nice welding program, their building is fairly new. They make it very easy to just jump in and learn. Coming into welding I had no experience so this program and this NCC seems like a good place to start. We have very good instructors here, they're all well, well qualified. The courses are going to be the same if you get them here. The difference is it's going to cost you a lot less money. Then we have agreements with lots of other universities, about 40 of them, and that allows them to transfer all their credits.
Ladies and gentlemen, two minutes, 30 seconds until tip off for the Hawks and the Knights. Boys teams both ready for a very competitive matchup. We're gonna see a lot of great action here. We saw a lot in the girls game. Knights took the lead and won 81-41 over the Hawks. A couple of big statistics from them. Really, really good performance by Skoneholman, Skydeman, and Deckers. All over 15 points, 16, 16, and 26 for Skoneholman. As well as a couple of stragglers, Jaylee Woodstra with three three-pointers. A good showing from her. And then for the Hawks, Grayson Oblock won three. It was a very good three. And it got the momentum going. Elise Hawk, five points. And then Kylie Skippa, 19, leading. Overall, decent game. Definitely saw a lot of explosive plays from the Knights. And as we get into the opening minutes here, I'd like to thank you so much for tuning in. It's going to be a fun game to watch. Already had the national anthem play at the girls game so we're just gonna see the starting lineups what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the announcer do the starting lineups and then I will follow on here letting you guys know who is if you couldn't hear them prior like the pep band is tuning off for the night Thirty seconds here. Unity Christian still warming up. It's going to be a good matchup tonight, though. So stay tuned. Really good matchup. Going to come underway here as both teams do their pregame rituals. We're going to read off the names of those starters once again. If you couldn't hear them, we're going to go Hawks first. Start number zero, the senior, Cooper Evil, one to look out for tonight. Number three, Travis Cameron, also a senior. Number 11, another senior, Trenton Volling. Number 32, starting forward, six foot five, Keevan Jacobsma. And number 45, starting center, Lance Behrens. Another one to watch out for. 
The Knights starting lineup, number five, Jacob Van Dong, followed by number 10, Tice Van Beek. You see he's going to take the tip out here. Number 12, Braden Bosma. Number 23, Trevor Weringa. Van Dong not starting the, excuse me, Jackson Papama to start. Quick bucket here right away from Bolink. Van Beek trying to dish down low, no good. Van Beek at the top of the key. Can dish out to the left here, Braden Bosma. Cooper Evil with the steal. He's going to go up for the dunk. Cooper Evil posterizing some Knights. They're going to call him on the technical foul here. First free throw for Van Beek, good. And the second one will follow. So just a discipline thing here for the Hawks. Cooper Evil gonna be called for the foul, the technical at that. Now he's gotta be careful. Van Beek to pass it in. He's gonna dish it out to Weeringa. Weeringa gonna put it right back in Van Beek's hands. Out to the other quarter, Bosma. Bosma gonna find Van Beek, back to Bosma. Vogel. Corner. Looks like he might have stepped on the line there. Refs aren't going to call it. Rebounded by the Knights. Van Beek at the top of the key. Papama taking a couple dribbles. He's going to dish to the corner to Vogel. Vogel is going to lose possession there, but he'll get it right back. That's a travel. So the Hawks starting out really strong here. The only two points coming from the Knights coming from a technical foul on Ebel after the solid dunk. Full court press here. Barron's in the middle, gonna get it to Ebel. Ebel's gonna have to pick it up. He'll take a couple dribbles now, comfortably. Jacob Smuth, back to Ebel. Cam Rat with the drive, no good. Jacob Smuth's gonna get the rebound. Excuse me, Barron's gonna get the rebound. He's gonna put it up, no good. Barron's is gonna fight for it. He's gonna get the ball, but they're gonna call a jump before he can put it back up. Good fight there by Vogel. Passing it in, Bosma, Bosma. Run down the right side of the court here. Waringa gonna continue to dish around the perimeter. Ebel gonna steal that one, another nice steal from Ebel. Good move by Ebel, no good. He's gonna just tap it out. And they'll get another chance here. Evil down on the block. No good. Again, going to try and tap it out, but no good again. Call blocking foul on the Hawks. Be the first one for Camrat. First free throw is good by Bosma. Second one was also good. Got to get it past half court here. Evil's going to take a couple dribbles. He's going to go behind the back. Down to the corner, gonna get it to Barons. Barons, nice move. He's gonna take it up strong and he'll get fouled. Knights are in disbelief. First foul on Vogel tonight, the sophomore.
Barons to the free throw line. Shoots okay, 50% just about. So he'll miss the first one. Second one's good. Van Beek to take it down the court to Waringa. Waringa going to dish it up to the top of the key. Bosma. Bosma back to Van Beek. Van Beek from three. Deep. Good. Van Beek going to get a little bit of momentum here, and the Knights will take the lead. Going to continue to dish it around. Across the court, they got to get it. That's Volink. Volink to Ebel. Ebel going to take it up strong. No good. Jacobsma going to try it. It looked like Ebel was trying to get back in bounds. No good, though. Unable to get out before he touched the ball. So it'll be Knight's ball. Jacobsma with a good effort there on the rebound, trying to dish it out. Knights will get the ball at the top of the key. Bosma to dribble down the court to Van Beek. And that's travel. Looks like he switched pivot foots. Hawks head coach Nathan Hoagland trying to calm down his players. Barron's going to take a couple dribbles. It's full court press in action here. Camrat, Camrat going to dish it down to the corner. Bolink. Barron's. Barron's going to lose it. That's going to be a foul. They're going to call it on Van Beek. Jacobsma going to get fouled on the push. They're going to say it's on Van Beek again. Two in succession. Coach Harskamp doesn't like that very much. Gritting his teeth a little bit here. He's got to put a substitution in. Did look like he extended his arms just a little bit as Jacobsma is going to hit his first. Coming into the game, number 15, Stephen Schurz. Jacobs is going to miss his second free throw, and he'll have to get back down court. Another travel. Looks like they continue to switch pivot feet here. Substitution coming in. Number 30, Elliot Vandenberg. One thing that the Hawks have to watch out for here is that playing time. Both sides obviously got some depth, but in the last game, you know, the Hawks didn't have as much as they might, might, might like. The Knights are going to get in some foul trouble here early. Vandenberg, who just got subbed in, the junior, going to go. And this is a young team here, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, beginning of the year, they lost a lot of their starters. Um, and so now that we've seen a lot of players that haven't played as much, and they're kind of getting to mesh a little bit better than they were prior. Um, as that layup is just going to go in and out, no good. The Hawks will get possession here. So in terms of playing time, Hawks really got to score here early and a lot. Uh, it's going to be a key to their win, I believe. Although they were getting a little bit better as the game went on last time versus Galen Catholic. Way to break this press here. Barons, nice move. And play this 2 3. Kind of prevent some fatigue here. Bosma at the top. Vogel. Vogel going to find Wieringa. Wieringa going to try for a bucket. No good. Vogel going to strip it from Barons. Barons is going to take it now at the top of the key. Back to Ebel. To Barons. Got to get a bucket here. Ebel sets a nice screen. To Camrat. Camrat going to go for Barons. No good. Vogel with a nice tip. Bosma going to try and find a man low. He's going to just put it up. No good. Barons with the rebound.
No good. Barron's on the rebound. Out of bounds in the night, still be Hawks ball down low. Not something you expected there. Barron's losing possession a little bit. Substitution here coming in. Take Vogel out, coming in for him. Papma. Cooper Evil, Cooper Evil gonna go up strong. Bosman's gonna be called in the foul. And one opportunity here for Evil. Saw this quite a bit when the Hawks played. Here comes Elwood coming in for the substitution. It's going to be a foul run the other way. Barron's with his first of the night. Good move there by Popma, getting him on self on the board in the points category. Double covered, made a nice solid hook. Cameron's going to take a couple dribbles, he'll dish it up to Evil. Evil guarded by Wieringa. Barons with the screen. Can't keep up with Evil, and Evil will score. No good. Evil with a nice rebound. That's going to be a foul on the Knights. Another one. Second one for Vandenberg here in the first period. Barron's going to break out of that. Cooper Evil has got to get across half court. He's going to dish to Barron's. Barron's going to put it up. Good. A couple hands in his face. Double covered. He's going to make a nice shot. Cooper Evil cannot keep it out or keep it in bounds. And the Knights will get possession here. Bosma in the corner. He's going to dish it out to the top of the key. That'll be no good. It's a backcourt violation for the Knights. Ball movement here. Going to continue to hold on to it. There's no shot clock, so theoretically the Hawks could hold it here for the last. It's not going to happen as Elwood can't maintain possession. Knights will get the last shot here. Bosma in no hurry to get down the court. Five seconds left to play here in the first period. Bosma going to dish it to Wieringa. Wieringa, they have to shoot. Bosma from three. No good. Off the front of the rim, had enough power, just a little bit inaccurate. And your score after one period, the Unity Christian Knights 9, Hartley Melvin, Sam Moran, Hawks 14. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break on. Unity Christian is proud to have these businesses as partners, helping to ensure the success of our students now and into the future.
Welcome back, second period, about to get underway here between the Knights and the Hawks, both sides. Putting up a pretty good first period, both offensively and defensively. Scoring has been a little low, but that's a good and bad thing. Seeing a lot of effort here from Cooper Ebel and Lance Behrens, as we were talking about earlier in the game. Uh, they're going to be an important asset here tonight. Cooper Ebel with six already and Behrens with five. One's got a free throw, one does not. Barron shooting about 50% right now from the free throw line. Jacobs went with the point. Bowling with the bucket as well as Camrat. Excuse me, Camrat does not have a bucket. Elwood take it off on the left wing. Evil is going to be stripped away. Bosma going to have a nice Euro step, and that's no good. Barely unable to fall. Same team. Bosma is going to pass it out. Screws from three. Good. Bosma with a nice shot from the corner. Good way for Unity Christian Knights to start this game. Elwood's gonna be found in the bottom of the heat. Ebel, fake a pass left, go right. Jacob Smith is gonna find. Cameron, Cameron's gonna try and find Barron's in the middle of the court, no good. And the Knights might have a little bit of a run here. And that'll be good. Crowd screaming for a foul as Vogel goes up strong. Looks like there was a lot of contact there and the uh, refs are not gonna call it. Ebel with a nice fake pass, he's gonna be at the arc. Cameron at the top of the key. Ebel from three, no good. And that's gonna be a foul. Vogel who just came down and had a phenomenal play is going to be called on the foul here. Cooper Evil to the line for three free throws. First one is good. That is a big turn of events there. The Knights on a 5-0 run up to this point. Evil breaking that run. All three free throws, good. Bosma getting the pass. Van Beek at the top of the key. They've been missing him recently. Screwers, no good from three. Barons with a nice rebound. Ebel going to dish it down to Elwood. Elwood's going to take it to the corner. Looking to get it out of there, Ebel. Jacob Schma in the corner. Ebel, Evelyn hanging on to the possession. Barons, gonna lock up from three. That's gonna be a travel. Just two minutes have passed here in this second period. Knights making sure that they try something to get this lead back. Good fake, going up, strong, no good. Bosma from about eight, no good. Barons with the rebound. They're gonna pass it down to Camrat, fast break. Camrat gonna control the ball nicely. Jacob Smun, good dribble. Cooper Evil to Elwood. Elwood from three, no good off the front of the rim. Camrat. Jacobsma, Jacobsma with a nice steal. Ebel taking his time, getting down the court, letting his players breathe a little bit here. Haven't seen a whole lot of substitutions from the Hawks. Ebel is gonna take that one with some strength there. Nice spin move by Ebel. Barron's down low. Barron's is gonna get stolen from. Evil gonna steal it right back. And that's a foul and an and one. Cooper Evil going up strong after the steal. Pop must first follow the night is gonna be huge. An and one from Evil. Uh, 
The Hawks are going to take a timeout and capitalize on this opportunity. Keep the momentum going here. Let it build a little bit. And the Knights are going to try and regain themselves, their selves composure. And we'll be right back after a quick commercial break. Since 1998, Ground Effects in Sioux Center has been Northwest Iowa's premier And we're back, four minutes, 44 seconds left to play here in the second period. Cooper Ebel going to the line after a foul from Poppenba. Really good momentum booster there for the Hawks, who are looking to claim victory for the first time in many years. No good from Evil. That's his first free throw missed on the night. Van Beek dribbled down the court to Bosma. Bosma to Wieringa. Wieringa back to Bosma. Bosma back to Wieringa. Do this passing game all day long. Vogel, Vogel to Wieringa. Wieringa to the corner. Van Beek open from three. Unable to hit. Cooper Evil with a nice strong rebound. Camrat taking a couple dribbles here. Going to dish it out to Barons. Barons, Jacobsma, Jacobsma to Elwood. Good ball movement here from both sides. Evil from three. Good. At some point, you have to wonder if you have to allocate two men to Ebel. He's been unstoppable tonight here, already at 14 points. Van Beek dribbling down on the baseline. Wearing gut, a couple dribbles to the corner. Vogel, and they're going to call a charge. Vogel hit the three, but Wearing unable to contain himself as he'll take a foul. Another huge turn of events here as it could have just shifted the momentum to a five-point deficit. Unfortunately, that's not the case here. Now the Knights are going to get a steal from Van Beek. Van Beek, good layup. Van Beek with seven on the night. Barron's going to get the inbound pass. Camrat going to dribble up a couple. Barron's back to Camrat. Camrat back to Barron's. To Ebel. To the corner, Elwood. Barons, couple dribbles, good drive, aggressive, gonna get the rebound, gonna get his own rebound again, gonna get fouled on the way up. Vogel in disbelief now too. As you can see the look on his face, doesn't think that's a Knights foul. Kian Emmelkamp on the foul, that's the first time we've heard his name tonight, Barons for two. No good. Shooting 33% on the night free throws here. You'd imagine he might make this one. Keep it about 50%. Good. Van Beek trying to rally the troops here, the Knights as you will. Wieringa at the top of the key. Van Beek in the corner. Cross court pass to Bosma. Bosma from three. That's no good. Trickles in, trickles out. Back to Van Beek, Van Beek from about 12 feet, no good. Bounces off the back of the rim, and I'll shoot back the way it came. Elwood to Barron's, Barron's gonna take a couple dribbles. That's gonna be a charge. <laughs> Tough one to take there, looked like that one might have hurt a little bit. Barron's big body is gonna go in for the break. Papama subbing in. Van Beek for three. Good. Van Beek, a little bit of a motivation here. 
to continue. The last two and a half minutes of the second period, Barron's going to take it. That's a foul in and and one. Wearing his second foul of the night. Not even going to try and rebound here. Is there confident Barron's is going to make it? Good end one opportunity from Barron's and wait to go. He's going to come out for the first time this game. Take a quick breath. They're going to need him here later. Bosma dribbling down the court. Screws. Van Beek. Van Beek dribbling down. He's going to continue to get picked at. Bosma from three. No good. He's going to rim in, rim out. Camrat. Jacobsma. Jacobsma's got to dribble down here. That might have been a travel, and refs aren't going to call it. Jacob Schmuck to Elwood. Camrat, Ebel's going to set a pick. Now they're going to switch guys, and this might be a mistake here. Jacob Schmuck from three. No good. Off the backboard and out. Rims in, rims out. Minute 38 left to play here in the second period. Bosma in the corner. He's going to dribble down the baseline. He's going to tack it out to Vogel. Vogel. He's going to get pickpocketed. They're going to call a foul on Evil. Evil not happy with that one. It's only their fifth foul of the night so far. Shrews. No good. Jacobs from out of Evil. Evil going to dribble down. Good interception by Shrews. Can't hold on to it though. He's visibly upset. Ref gives him a pat on the back, tells him it's all right, he'll get it next time. Hawks ball for now though. Evil left uncovered as he dribbles down. Bowling, bowling to Elwood. Elwood gonna fish it out to Evil. Gonna take a couple dribbles, Elwood is. Dish it out to Camrat, Camrat. Travel. Ball movement stops short there. Camrat going to take it down. Elwood going to take a couple dribbles. Back to Camrat. Camrat from three. Good. First points of the night for Camrat. Van Beek. Van Beek going to dish it all the way to Schroers. Schroers. A couple dribbles. Give it to Bosma. Bosma from three. No good. Van Beek takes the three pointer. Going to dish it down low. No good. Gonna put it back up. Pop him up. Nice aggressive play there. Looks like they might call that one on Jacob Smuck. Two shots for Popma. First one will rim in, rim out. Second one will hit off of the Brock. Bosma going up strong, good. Six seconds left on the clock. Evil looking to get the last shot here. Camrat, Evil from three, no good. And that is the end of the second period. Unity Christian Knights getting the deficit down to eight before the buzzer goes off. Hawks lead 29-21. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break on Fuller Digital Solutions. As a bank that cares about supporting small businesses, American State Bank assisted hundreds of young entrepreneurs launch their first business. Starting a business can be complicated, even when it's just a lemonade stand. It's never too early to begin thinking towards your next project, and we'll be here to help make it go as smoothly as possible. 
Hey, entrepreneurs, no matter their age, it's what we do. Customers deserve great internet too. This is Doug from Evertech. You deserve Evertech's no limits internet and the personal service that comes with it. We've dedicated 32 years to bringing customers like you reliable, unlimited internet. It's internet you can count on. Call or email our Everly office to get started. You and your family need internet with unlimited use, no contracts and no overages. You need Evertech. Visit evertech.net to learn more. Evertech, internet where you live. Pizza Ranch serves buffet your way. Don't you mean my way, Mr. Voiceover Guy? Uh, sure, anyone's way, actually. Request your favorite pizza. We'll make it, bake it, and give you the first slice. I can add peppers to pepperoni, stampede on stuffed crust, maybe Texan taco on thin. No tomatoes on my half. How can I convince Mom to let us eat here every night? It's buffet your way at Pizza Ranch. Say it with me, kid. Mmm, mmm. Mm. Probably the biggest thing that we do a little bit different than a lot of schools is the live work side of the world. So when we teach our students, we actually, if you look around the shop and see what they're working on, in most cases it's a customer car, and so they get real world application. Our engineering design program is basically drawing components, manufacturing of the components, and then we get into the inspection of the components. So they got to create it, make it, and inspect it just as they would in the industry. The instructors here are really nice. The way they teach here is different than a few other colleges as well. We have outside cars, so not just a bunch of trainer cars that we everybody works on and you kind of know what's wrong with them already. So we have to go through the full steps of diagnostics and find out what the problem is and then we fix it. The heavy equipment program here at NCC is unique in that we actually go out and do real world jobs. Students get hands-on time with the equipment. We cover the maintenance as well as the operation of the equipment and then we go into the estimating side of things. Unity Christian is proud to have these businesses as partners, helping to ensure the success of our students now and into the future.
Since 1998, Ground Effects in Sioux Center has been Northwest Iowa's premier landscaping and garden center, providing a full variety of trees, shrubs, perennials, and annuals. Visit scgroundeffects.com and use their plant finder tool to help you find the perfect plant for your home. Ground Effects also has a full staff of experts and designers to turn your landscaping dreams into a reality. Come see what Ground Effects in Sioux Center has to offer. Unity Christian is proud to have these businesses as partners, helping to ensure the success of our students now and into the future. Welcome back, third period underway almost here. Three minutes left before that happens. We're gonna get into a couple of statistics and what each team needs to do in order to be successful in the second half. Always starting with the visitors today, Hawks. Cooper Ebel lighting it up with 14 points to his name. He's got a couple of twos, as well as gone three for five from the free throw line. And then he's also got a three as well. Really, really impactful play there with those three free throws made from the three-point line. Was fouled and made all three of them. Travis Camrat with the three to his name as well. He's got a foul. Cooper Ebel with two, including the technical to start the game. Trenton Bolink with the bucket to his name. Keevan Jacobsma, one for two on his free throws. Lance Behrens, nine points. He's got a couple of buckets. Strong rebounder. Has been really, really dominant under the bucket. For the Knights. 10 points to Tice Van Beek. He's been very good from the arc. Two three-pointers made, as well as a bucket and some free throws. Braden Bosma, a three-pointer to his name as well. Seven points. Papma with two, and Jackson Vogel with two. Each and every starter for both sides looking to start the second half here with some fire. Big thing for the Hawks is this third period, I think, needs to be absolutely dominant. You've now got a full half under your belt. You've gotten a little bit of rest, but... It's not going to be quite enough. Those Knights have a lot of substitutes coming in. Follows all over the board um, from the hopes of uh, Trevor Waringa, Vandenberg, Emil Camp, um, and those players not with a whole ton of points or anything, but they've been able to get into the game there, give some reprieve to this Knights lineup. So the Hawks need to score here early. Um, they need to make sure that they limit their turnovers if they want to beat the Knights. Knights have to make sure you're putting away some of those fouls, very foul heavy first half for them. I don't know if you can say it's all on them, but you can also not blame the refs. Uh, if you give them a reason to blow the whistle, they can blow it. Um, and so that's what they need to focus on here is calming themselves down a little bit, staying aggressive, but not getting too aggressive to the point where they're going and getting fouls. Both sides otherwise putting together a pretty good half. It's a close game, 29-21. So expect some action here as 30 seconds tick down until the half is over and the third period begins. Knights won the tip off, jump ball, not sure where it's going, but it looks like it's gonna be in possession of the Knights to start the second half.
And the third period has begun. Dice Van Beek going to take it to the top of the key. Dish it out to Bosma. Bosma going to dish to Waringa. And Van Beek going to get it in the corner. Waringa to Van Beek. Van Beek, nice dribble move. He's going to take it from about 10 feet, get fouled. Looks like Jacobs is going to be the culprit there. That'll be two shots. First free throw is good for Van Beek. Barron's going to dish it in to Volink. Volink going to dribble down the court. Jacob Sma going to maintain composure, and that's going to be a travel. Just picked up his foot a little bit. Coach agrees. So now the Knights with a little bit of momentum to start the third period, just getting a bucket, getting that deficit to six, and now a turnover. It's going to give them another possession here. Van Beek to Bosma. Bosma going to dribble around. Waringa tried that uh, play last time. Van Beek wasn't able to get anything out of it except for a couple free throws. Bosma, good ball movement to Van Beek. Van Beek going to find a gap. Bosma from three. Off the front of the rim, Van Beek is going to maintain Possession for the Knights. Going to get thrown into Vogel. Vogel. Going to be fouled on the way up. Popma. Going up strong. He'll have two free throws. Didn't make his first two. Foul is going to be on Lance Barons. Barons with his third. He's going to have to maybe sit here shortly. Popma misses both free throws. Barons to Ebel. Ebel is going to dribble it down. He's going to find Camrack. Nope, that's Volink. Camrack at the top of the key. He's going to get the pass. Barons. Barons going to find a lane. I'm going to kill a blocking foul. Looks like his feet weren't absolutely set, and that's what they're going to go off of. So the foul will be on number 40, Jackson Vogel, his third of the night. Barons is going to go to the free throw line. Good, be the end one. Van Beek to Waringa. Bosma to Van Beek. Van Beek just kind of getting pickpocketed down low. Vogel with a nice play. Little double clutch there. Evil, gonna take it out with ease. Dish it to Jacobsma, who's going to go up for the layup. No good. Looks like it might have been a little contact, but refs are going to let him play. Bosma trying to make a very nice move. That's going to be no good. Rebounded by Popma. He's going to put it up. He'll go back to the free throw line. Looking to change the trajectory there is Jacobsma, the other big man. Both big men with three fouls right now to their name. They do have one more, an Ethan Huberg that could come off the bench. Huberg, excuse me. Pop him up, first free throw, one of five on the night. Elwood gonna take substitution, Jacob Smile. Second one good. Singing a different tune from the free throw line that time. Abel going to break the double team. Elwood from three. It's actually an assist to Ebel. Good heads up play by Ebel. Van Beek to Waringa. Cross court to Bosma. Ebel's going to get faked out. Van Beek. It's going to just trickle off the rim there. No good. And that'll be put right back up by Bosma. So the Knights coming out with some fire here in the third period. Just the lead down to five. Back to seven after that nice Cooper Evil bucket. Van Beek looking for an outlet. Waringa 
Good. You can hear this home team advantage starting to play a big factor. Zeebel's going to break the double team. Bowling from three. Good. You're going to answer right back. As the momentum goes from both sides, they're going to take a timeout. The Knights will. Continuing to be a very close game here. Brought it all the way down the floor, the Knights did. But quick response from the Hawks will put them right back up at a seven-point lead. Both sides coming out with some fire here. Vogel going to go up strong, no good. Elwood going to dish it to Camrat. Camrat to Barons. Bowling's going to take a couple dribbles. He'll be blocked, but Hawks are going to get the rebound right back. Barons going to go up strong, no good. That's a jump ball. Given some words of encouragement to his center. Inbounds play not happening yet. Barron's going to dish it out to Elwood. Camrat going to come up here. Ebel on the block. Definitely a lot of help here on Ebel, but Weringa holding his own. Good effort by the Knights, but Ebel is just going to hold his own there, and the ball will still be in Hawks' possession. Aarons, fade away. No good off the front of the rim there. They had to get it off. It was a decent effort. Camrat, Camrat on the defense there. Travel. Did take a stutter step. Coach is furious with the refs there. Looked like he may have stuttered just a little bit, enough for the refs to call it. Again, Knights have to make sure that they don't give the refs any reason to blow that whistle. Hawks ball, maintaining possession. Camrat, pass it in to Barons, And the break is on. Camrat to Barons. Barron's going to take a couple dribbles. He's going to hold on to it. Ebel. Ebel. Nice bucket. Good movement by the Knights. That's a good bucket by Vogel. His third of the night. He's at six points. Foul. Called on the Knights here. During this third. Substitution for the Knights coming in. Schroers. Good defense there by the Knights. Hawks able to break it. Takes a three. Elwood. Good pressure by the Knights defense. Ebel going to go up and get it. Going to put it up too. Ebel, 22 points on the night. What a game for him. Lead's been extended to nine. Van Beek. Good move by Van Beek. Another timeout called. Be a 30 second timeout. And with that, we're going to go to a quick commercial break on Fuller Digital Solutions. You can't replace the peace of mind that comes with knowing your animal is in good hands. Central Veterinary Clinic has been serving Sioux Center and the surrounding area for over 60 years. With a staff of 11 veterinarians, you can be sure you're getting the right care when you need it. 
whether it's your companion animal or a production animal operation. Central Veterinary is committed to staying up to date on the most current medical advances and knowledge to provide your animal with the best care. See what the professionals at Central Veterinary have to offer you at centralveterinaryclinic.com. Good from Evil, three. All right, so respond right back. Van Beek with his own layup. Barons, foul on the floor. First foul for Screws. Good steal by Bosma. Bosma going to take it down court. They're going to call that a blocking foul. Cameron with his second of the night. Possession here by the Knights. Bosma. And just ball out. Find some space here. A little breathing room. Van Beek screws. Bosma with no plan of attack there. Going to be able to dish it out. Van Beek screws. Top of the key. Couple of dribbles. Van Beek dishes it out to Bosma. Good bucket by Bosma. Looked like that one had a decent chance going in and it did so. Evil gonna dribble down the court. By Elwood, no good. Evil gonna go down to the ground there. He's recovering late. Van Beek, no good. Barons. Take it a couple dribbles and he'll put it up. Good. Might have been a travel there. Screws to Van Beek. Back to Screws from three. Nice shot. His first bucket of the night. Screws lighten this gym up. Four point deficit now for the Knights here. Ebel with the layup. Going back to six. Bosma, Bosma to Van Beek, Van Beek to Screws. From three, off the front of the rim. This crowd would have gone wild if that would have went in. Camrat, from three. Momentum has shifted absolutely in favor of the Hawks within the last 30 seconds here. Just under 30 seconds to play in the third period. Van Beek at the wing position, Bosma. Gonna get it on the other side from three. Good! Folks, this has been an electric last minute of the third period. Cooper Evil going to try and dribble his way through the defense, not able to do so. He's going to have to hurry up. Nine seconds. Looks like maybe a travel screws for three. No good off the front of the rim. Foul going the other way. It's off ball. Big foul by Vandenberg, his third of the night. That's gonna give the Hawks a last shot here. Could be a big momentum shifter. Don't have to waste a lot of energy here. And you're able to get some points on the board. That would be a win-win. 
Looks like a foul. Ebert, Ebel, no good. And so going into the fourth and final period for this game, the Hawks lead dwindles down to six, 53 over the Unity Christian Knights, 47. Following a quick commercial, we're going to be live here with the last period of play. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break on Fuller Digital Solutions. Pizza Ranch serves buffet your way. Don't you mean my way, Mr. VoiceOver Guy? Uh, sure, anyone's way, actually. Request your favorite pizza. We'll make it, bake it, and give you the first slice. I can add peppers to pepperoni, stampede on stuffed crust, maybe Texan taco on thin. No tomatoes on my half. How can I convince Mom to let us eat here every night? It's buffet your way at Pizza Ranch. Say it with me, kid. Mmm. -mm. Mm -mm. Getting underway here with the start of the fourth period. The Knights are going to have the ball. They trail by six. Looking for a big performance out of their leaders, Tice Van Beek and Braden Bosma. Both leading point scorers here tonight with 15 and 16 respectively. Van Beek. Lips in. Lips out. Vogel. No good. Well, it is good. However, there's a foul before the shot. It'll be a number three, Travis Camrat. Camrat with his third of the night. One's shaping up to be a good game. Vogel is going to get the pass. Go right back to Van Beek. Good pass to the middle there. Finding the man down low. Vogel. Volink going to take a couple dribbles here. I'm going to say travel after Volink can't handle it very well. Coach checking his head on the sidelines. Can't give this lead up now. Four point deficit here for the Knights. Barron's trying to swat, no good. And that'll be a good bucket there for Vogel. 10 points, he's in double digits. This full court press is really taken down it's going to be a foul called, excuse me, on Wieringa. That'll be his fourth, I believe. So one more, and he will be out of there. A key part of this defense here. He hasn't scored many, but he has been absolutely phenomenal guarding the Hawks. Going to sub in quick. Bosma out for Wieringa, and Elwood's going to come out as well. As we were talking about earlier, this Hawks starting lineup is going to be very tired. Lots of subs coming in for the Knights. This would be a hard-earned victory. The Knights were to take it. Camrat from three. No good off the front of the rim. Good dribble there. Bosma. Van Beek. Van Beek over to Vandenberg. Good steal by Camrat. Barron's going up strong. Going to get the own rebound. He's going to get fouled on the way up. Knights are fighting hard here in the final six minutes. That foul is going to go on number 12, Braden Bosma, his second. Barron's shooting just a little bit over 50% from the free throw line. Missed the first one, here comes the second. Lead by two, three point lead would be huge here. And he's got it, he'll roll in. He'll have 15 on the night. Nice move by Bosma, won't be able to fall. Popma gonna put it up, 
And there's a foul called. Looks like it's going to be called on Ebel. Pop him out of the free throw line for two. He's been pretty decent. He hasn't been great. Two for six tonight. At least he's made some. Make it two for seven as that one bounces off the back of the rim. Second one will just bounce out. Barron's going to get the rebound. Down to Jacobsma. Going to take his time, collect his bearings. Good move by Barron's. Good. Papama. Van Beek. Van Beek's got it here at the top. Emil Camp. Going to get a little bit of playing time here in this fourth period. Van Beek. Dishes it out. Papma going up. No good. Barron's going to collect the rebound. Ebel is going to tip that one to himself. No, that's going to go to the Knights. Now Ebel's not back on defense. Good foul there by Barron's. Says his arms were straight up, but obviously there was a bit of contact there. That'll be his fourth. And regardless of if that's a foul or not, I think that's a good foul to have, especially because you need to keep that momentum rolling. Papma hasn't been great from the free throw line, so if you get him there instead, it would be much more successful. And the foul proving worthy here as he misses the first one. Two for nine tonight from the free throw line. And he'll make his second. Ebel being double teamed. Pass for Jacobsma, no good. Ebel. A little bit frustrated and may have passed it a little bit too late or behind him. Either one. Just about five minutes left here. This fourth period matchup is going to be spectacular. Van Beek will dribble to his right. Might have been in travel. Emelkamp to Bosma. He's going to get Hamrat to jump. Jumper's good. Bosma. Nice play. Barron's going to dribble down the court, take his time, get a little bit of a breather here. You might need all your timeouts. Barron's going to make a nice move. He's going to go through defenders. He's going to continue to fight. To Volink from three. Yes, he's got it off the backboard. Ebel keeping his hands straight up. His defense goes down. Van Beek trapped in a corner. They're going to call a foul. Hands straight up for Ebel. Might call it on Volink. That's exactly what they're going to do. His first of the night, he's played a pretty clean game. And it looks like that's going to go to the bonus here. Van Beek, been pretty good. Four for four from the free throw line. This is a guy you want to take these shots. Proving me right there with his first one made. Five of five. Put this game within four points. Two buckets to be exact. Boom. Second one is good as well. And a timeout on the Knights' behalf. I think this is going to benefit the Knights less than it will the Hawks here because the Hawks, obviously, you got to keep in your starting lineup. They've done phenomenal throughout the entirety of the game. And now, with four minutes, 28 seconds left to play, you're using one of your timeouts. Sure, talk it over. You guys are going to get a strategy developed. But the Knights, or excuse me, but the Hawks are going to have a lot of breathing time here going to be able to collect their bearings and just make sure they get some oxygen in their lungs ready to go for the next four and a half minutes. Right now I think you could have maybe waited a little bit longer as the break wasn't too long that they got while shooting free throws. Um, so I don't know if I agree with this decision right now but it's all right because four minutes 30 seconds left to play here and the Knights got to get out on the court. Camrack going to dribble it up, 2-3 deep with a man on Ebel at all times. Wearing a four fouls, he's got to be careful. And that's going to be the fifth foul on Barron's. 
Huge play here. Barron's going to get charged on the charge. Coach in disbelief. Elwood coming into the game here. They're going to have to play a little bit more small ball now. Top two scorers is out. He's out 17 points. He'll finish tonight with a very good game. Not a lot you can do in that situation. They'll go the last four minutes without him. That could prove critical. Travel on the Knights going the other way. Possession will switch hands. That's a foul on Bosma. He's in disbelief, too. Now to the bonus. Ebel going to go to the line. He's been okay tonight from the line. Three for five. Make that three for six. He's going to miss the first one. He won't get the second. Got a man up here. Travel on Bosma. Would have been a good three from Weiringa. We're going to take a couple dribbles. Camrat. And find Camrat from three. Good. Travis Camrat has three threes on the night. He has been spectacular from the arc, and he'll increase the lead to six. Van Beek dishes out to Wearinga. A little bit long there. Ebel's going to get the rebound. He's going to fight for it to get out. Camrat's going to dribble down the court. Elwood down low. Jacobs Moe is the intended target on that pass. No good as Van Beek's going to run down and block it. Swipe it out of bounds, and now Hawks are going to have the inbound play. Jacobs going to pass it in. Ball length going to get the ball to Evil. Now they're switched back to 2 2 with a man out on Evil at all times. Cam Rat could have sealed this game a little bit more than it already has been. However, not able to convert there from three. Weringa to Bosma. Bosma from deep. That's going to go off the front of the rim, and that'll be rebounded by Elwood. Elwood with a spectacular play. And now a little bit of time is going to come off the clock here. They're going to get it to Ebel, and right away, Weringa is going to foul out. That is his fifth of the night. So now two critical starters for both sides. As you saw, Weringa was guarding Ebel one-on-one -on -one the entire time, and the other players were playing a box. Now we have to know who's going to guard Ebel, and how are they going to go about this, Ebel? at the free throw line. First free throw is good, four of seven. He's gonna get a second one. It's, this lead is going to seven points. 28 for Ebel on the night. Must say this has been an impressive performance by this young man. Second one, no good. Bosma gonna take it down the court. You gotta start thinking about scoring quick. To Van Beek. Van Beek going to try and find somebody down low. That one is going to be no good. It's going to be a jump ball. Both sides fighting hard. Van Beek playing his heart out here tonight. Has 18 points to his name. Van Beek's going to fall over. Might have been tripped up to Ebel, to Van Beek. Excuse me, not Van Beek. To Bowling. And now it's Ebel. Ebel is going to get tied up. Jump ball. Quick jump ball. Ebel's not very happy with that one. Coach getting a little bit frustrated. Evil talking back to the ref a little bit. He's already got a technical foul on the night. Yes, if he gets one more, he would be ejected from the game. Uh, so this is going to be a very close one coming down to the wire here.
Cruz. Van Beek, nice move, no good. Jacobsma going to fight for it. Rebound going the other way because it's a foul. Another one on the Knights. Fourth foul here for Elliot Vandenberg. Been a defensive asset here for the Knights tonight. Jacob Smalls, first free throw is good. That's his second point of the night. He's been very good on the defensive end. Good. Three of four on the free throws. It'll give him three points on the night. Extend the lead to nine. Van Beek and the Knights really need some big shots here. Screw is going to try and provide one. No good. Jacob Smalls with the rebound. It looks like a little bit of the energy has been sapped out of the Knights. Foul. Screws trying to salvage any time that they have left. Stop the clock here. Haven't seen Camrat shoot from the line tonight. We're going to see it here. Prove to be a good foul or not. We'll see. So far, sure, you've got one free throw missed, one more, and it'll extend the lead to 10. Camrat not able to get either of those two free throws in as they're in the double bonus. Screwers from three, good! Providing a little bit of hope here for the Knights as they get the lead down to six. It's only a two possession game if you hit two threes and you hold the Hawks on defense. It's a very, very crucial last minute and a half here. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break from some of our sponsors on Fuller Digital Solution. I chose NCC because they have a nice welding program. Their building is fairly new. They make it very easy to just jump in and learn. Coming into welding, I had no experience, so this program and this NCC seems like a good place to start. We have very good instructors here. They're all well, well qualified. The courses are going to be the same if you get them here. The difference is it's going to cost you a lot less money. Then we have agreements with lots of other universities, about 40 of them, and that allows them to transfer all their credits. Final minute, 21 seconds here as the buzzer goes off. Signaling both teams should get onto the court. Hawks got to milk as much time as possible from this time out here. Elwood to Ebel. Foul on the Knights. Third one on Schreuer's, Screws. First one is good for Mebel. Second one, no good. Bosma. We get to the arc here. Bosma from three. Deep. Good. Bosma giving the Knights a little bit more hope here as the deficit is now only four. Ebel going to get stuck on his half of the court. They got to get it across. They're going to do this that. Ebel. They're going to say a travel on Ebel. And it looked like it could have been either way. The Knights crowd is just roaring right now as the Hawks are going to elect to take a timeout, calm their guys down, give them a breather, and make sure that they're not going to make any more mental errors. This is going to be a good one, folks. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break on Fuller. Unity Christian is proud to have these businesses as partners, helping to ensure the success of our students now and into the future.
49 seconds and counting down. Van Beek from three. Off the side of the rim. Vogel, no good. Bosma going to take it. No good again. It's going to be a scramble. And the referees are going to discuss. This could be a huge call. Jump ball is the call. And that means possession will turn over to the Hawks. He will to Bowling. Bowling. Gonna try and follow him early. Screws. With his fourth, one more and he's out of the ball game. Ball ain't gonna go to the line. Haven't seen much out of him tonight. He's got eight points, so I guess maybe I'm just lying there. First one is gonna go off the back, no good. Useful foul here is the Hawks can't make the free throws that they need to continue to keep this game out of reach. Good. Second one off the backboard, extend the lead to five. A few seconds out of the last, screws to Bosma. Bosma gonna make a quick decision, a good one at that. Gonna get it back out to the top of the key, Van Beek. Van Beek's gotta find somebody. He's got somebody, Van Beek from three! No good! Evil's gonna try, he's gonna get in some people's way and the basket is good! Van Beek gonna get up and he's gonna make a nice eight footer. Really good play overall by the Knights. They tuck the deficit down to three. 20 points from Van Beek tonight. Continuing to be an absolutely spectacular showcasing from both sides. And the last 13 seconds are gonna come down to the wire. But before we play those last 13 seconds, let's student section it may be small but it is mighty it's continuing to chant here hoping their Hawks can take home the victory away and to beat the Knights for the first time in a long time this game has come down the wire and will continue to be a barn burner until that final buzzer has gone off able to take it out they're gonna dish it all the way down to Jacobs who can't handle it and the Knights are gonna have a chance to tie the ball game up here no good uncontrolled movement. Ebel going to try and run down the court and that will be no good. Oh my goodness. Had an opportunity there. Vandenberg did. And Ebel is going to get the rebound. He's going to go down the court. Van Beek has to foul and Ebel is going to go back to the line. First one no good from Ebel. Really crucial miss. He has to make this one to give it a two possession game. No good. Five seconds left on the clock here. And a timeout is called. 2.2 seconds left. And Ebel, who has been pretty good from free throws tonight, unable to make two that would put him in a two possession lead and the Hawks coming home with potentially an easy victory from the last five seconds. Instead, he's missed both, the fatigue is setting in, and the Knights have a chance to tie this ball game up and even take it home. This is going to be an absolutely spectacular showcase, folks. This has been a wonderful game to watch from start to finish. We've seen lots of different things from both sides showing their skills. We've seen a lot from the arc. Usually you don't see that from the Hawks, but you've seen a lot of three-pointers getting hit especially by Cameron and Bowling, who the Knights may not have thought was a big liability um, because you have Cooper Ebel and you have Barons, but Barons has been out. And so the Knights have taken advantage of that, gotten into the post a little bit more. Seen last 
three buckets for the Knights. Two of them have been within eight feet. And it's been a really, really good showing here from the Knights. They have a chance to tie this ball game up and keep this home crowd satisfied for another four minutes of action. We're going to see it right here on Fuller Digital Solutions. Live coverage of the Unity Christian Knights and the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks. Dreaded position of passing it in is going to be taken by Screws. Bosma, no good on the first option. Van Beek is going to have to shoot from three. He's got an open shot. No good. In and out. The game is over. The Knights have been defeated by the Hawks. 67-64. What an absolutely great shot. Obviously, lots of emotions going on here. But it was a great game from both sides. Foul heavy, aggressive, and score heavy. Folks, what a game we just witnessed. Whether you were on the winning end or the losing end, you have to admit both sides with an absolutely spectacular game here. And so we'll be right back after I get some statistics here. Hawks beating the Knights 67-64. Fuller Digital Solutions live coverage. Thanks you so much. We'll be right back. Quick commercial break on Fuller Digital Solutions. Unity Christian is proud to have these businesses as partners. Helping to ensure the success of our students now and into the future. sides here unity christian knights falling short of the victory here the hawks will take it home 67 64 men's basketball game a couple of stats for you here before i sign off the hawks taking on cooper evil with 30 points to his name an absolutely great showcase from him able to prove himself on the offensive and defensive side unity christian knights had to delegate one guy to him and it was weringa who followed out early and was not able to come back into the game and ultimately, that may have caused them a little bit of trouble in the end. Travis Camrat with nine to his name as well. Very critical from the three-point. These next two guys, Trenton Volink and Travis Camrat, have been very good from the arc tonight. I think they probably shot about eight, made about five. So it was very, very even, about 62.5%. Uh, very good. Kevin Jacobsma had some crucial free throws and was a defensive asset here for the Hawks. And then Lance Behrens, who fouled out, but still ended up with 17 points to his name. Very physical on the boards, and you could see a lot of points were generated after a first or second offensive rebound. Unity Christian Knights, Tice Van Beek leading the charge tonight with 20 points, and it was a great showcase from him. That young man has got some talent, uh, and it's going to be sad to see him go next year for Unity Christian Knights. I have a little bit in the season still, so it's early to say that, but nonetheless, Brayden Bosma with 20 points to his name, I believe, as well. Uh, it was very good from the arc, too. It had some critical shots in the end, and it was very good for Brayden Bosma. Schroers got a little bit of playing time tonight. Had a couple of three-pointers to his name, Weringa, as well. A big defensive asset for the Knights, and obviously you saw they delegated him to Cooper Ebel, and Cooper Ebel was shut down for a little bit once they started playing that uh, box with one man out on Ebel. Uh, very good showing from that young man. Uh, Jackson Popma with five points, three for ten on the free throws. Obviously, he could have made it a little easier, um, but still drawing a lot of fouls and getting um, the likes of Barons as well as Camrat in some foul trouble was critical in the final moments, giving them an opportunity to kind of get into the game. Jackson Vogel also has a couple of buckets. He hit double digits tonight. Good showing on the offensive side from him. Um, we're looking to see more from that man in the future. Once again, if you missed it, boys game between the Unity Christian Knights and the Hartley Melvin Sanborn Hawks 
67-64, uh, the Hawks will take victory. Did not get the sweep, though, as the girls lost 81-41 to over the Knights. Gracie Schoenhoven with a really good showing there. Um, so, yeah, you can rewind, watch this all live on YouTube here. And this is Carter from Fuller Digital Solutions. I want to thank you so much for listening in tonight um, and just being a part of what we have here on Fuller Digital Solutions. I'm going to sign off. Thank you so much, and have a good night.